Good morning, everybody. It's Deb here with Creative Life, and welcome to the first day of the 12 days of Christmas with Rosa Kelly and Kim Murray. And oh my gosh, you guys, we have lots of creative projects in store for you today. And the other thing is that it's going to be fun because Rosa uh, made a challenge Christmas list for us to do. So yep, we will have, tw for us anyway, we will have 12 different challenges for each day to create something that is that particular theme. So, uh, like for instance, the first day is sparkling night. Um, there's going to be the day two is something pink and blue. Now for my first day and for the other days, you guys, I spread it out. I did not go in order. So I did mine all over the place. <laughs> so, and um, I think, you know, I liked doing that because um, I just think it just kind of gave me my a free will to do what I wanted to do on that particular day. So uh, today is going to be Christmas at the farm. And y'all, I know it's Christmas at the farm, but I was thinking farmhouse, you know, type of Christmas theme. And so I thought of something really cool. And I know I've done them before, but I love doing coasters. And everybody likes to have coasters, you know, on, you know, their dining room table or on their coffee and tables and things like that. And I thought it would be really pretty to do one that is so super simple. And um, you can buy these um, 12 or uh, these 12, I mean, these um, ceramic tiles over at Lowe's, Home Depot. And um, they're super easy to decorate. Now, I had some in the past that we decorated with my kids and I have some left over and these were stamped and everything and these are just old ones and I thought you know I didn't mind covering these up and um, they're kind of worn <laughs> so I thought you know what why not why not and they have the little um, uh, little felt circles on the bottoms so already so all I have to do is just redo them and you could just do the you if you have cork ones uh, you could do cork ones you don't have to do ceramic but you could do whatever ones you would like so the first thing I'm going to use is my Mod Podge and I've already already started one and um, basically I'm just letting it dry right now and um, yeah so you just tack it down okay and I'm just letting that dry so the the Mod Podge that I'm using is the water based sealer it is the dishwasher safe gloss now dishwasher safe does not mean that you can um, you, you can't I think it means that it's just dishwasher safe. You can put it in your dishwasher. It's not going to come off. Um, I did it because that way if water gets on it, it's not, you know, going to um, ruin your paperwork underneath it or your, you know, your decoration underneath. But um, I believe that you cannot drink out of something that's inside of a glass if it's using the Mod Podge. And I, I believe that that is correct. So, um Anyway, I just want to go ahead and let you all know that just in case, you know, don't ever put it inside of a cup or something you're going to eat off of. Okay, so, all right, so then you're going to get your next piece and I'm just going to cut another piece that is three and a quarter by three and a quarter for my tile here. Okay, and I didn't do anything special. Um, the only thing I'm going to do is just grab my Mod Podge again and I'm going to do the back of the paper okay and I am I'm using I'm not I don't want to say a lot but I'm not being like super like um, easy with it you know I'm just I'm putting it on there uh, enough to where I know it's going to stick down okay so you don't want to put just a small amount you want to make sure that this is going to stick down on there okay and then I'm just going to go ahead and rub that in just like that, okay. And if your corners are sticking out, you could just bevel them in on the sides there, just like that, okay. And then you can go ahead and grab your little sponge brush again, and you're just going to go over that, okay. 
Now I did use a couple of my dies to decorate this and I thought, you know, that these would be super cute for Christmas. So you could put them away with your Christmas items, dig them out again. You know, you can use whatever paper you want. I just thought of the farmhouse because I had that theme. So <laughs> I was like, why not? <laughs> so I'm going to put that one up there while it dries and bring this one. It's a little bit tacky, but that's okay. So here we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this beautiful little um, wreath on here. Now I probably will have some things. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to go ahead and lift that up and I'm going to put some more of this down here. Get it kind of a little bit wet so that way the wreath will stick to it. Okay, and I think I'm going to turn it over this way because it, it seems like it wants to, oh, okay, there we go, there we go, okay. So I'm just going to wet that down, okay, and again, I'm, I'm putting a lot, not a lot, of, I mean, not like tons of just like pouring glue on there, but I'm putting some glue on top of that so it will um, stay down, okay. Now you can see some of my wreath is at the edge, right? And yes, I will cut that off because I know it's sad. You can, you know, but if you wanted to, you could just flip it over, you know, on the sides there. You could do that too. Just kind of, if you wanted to do that. If it doesn't stay down, then I'll probably just cut it off. And that's fine. Right? So, and I'm just going to go over this with my glue like that okay and then the middle part I thought would be really pretty if we did Christmas so you have a Merry Christmas on there and that will just stick down there just like that now um, I chose white since I had a white um, background or a black and white background I thought well why not black and white or white Christmas so um, I just thought that would look really pretty, so. So, I think this is going to turn out pretty cute. And then you can always put, you know, other decoration. If you want to do a little bow up on top of it, you could do that. Um, and I'm just going to grab my finger because I see some of the glue underneath my wreath here. It's getting kind of under that wreath there and it was kind of building up. So I'm just going to smooth that out. Okay. And just like that. So I'm going to just smooth that down just on the edges there. And that is where um, the little folds of my foliage is going to be. Okay. And there you go. How cute is that? So super simple and fast. And now all we have to do is just wait for it to dry. And you could put about two more coats on top of that, right? And let it dry really well, okay? And then, um, yeah, and then it's ready for use. And then, again, if you wanted to put like a little bow up on top, you could do that. Um, you don't have to. You could put little berries on it if you wanted. Um, but I think it looks cute just like that. So super simple and easy, you guys. And you can use the items that you have at your house. You can make this um, traditional colors. You can make them pink. You can make them, you know, uh, gold. You know, use, use what you have. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and just speed up through this one. Since you saw me do the first one, I figured the second one is pretty much the same. <laughs> You're just going to place your little decorative die uh, image on top of your coaster there and place your Mod Podge on top of that and you're just going to keep spreading that around and then um, again you're just going to place two more coats on top of those once they dry okay and yeah then you're good to go so Alrighty, you guys so there you go so and this one is almost dry you guys so I'll probably put another coat on that couple of two two more coats on this and it's good to go you guys don't forget to put your little um, you can put your little felt 
circles on the back of that though. So we're just going to turn this over just like this. And I'm just going to put some of these little felt, actually they're Velcro, but there you go. And there you go. So it's already ready to go. So, yeah. so I hope that you like today's short tutorial. And don't forget that Rosa, Kimmy, and I are all giving away prizes on our channel. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, I am giving away, for my prize, I will be giving away one paper pack to one lucky winner from Kimmy's store and it is the beauty of Christmas and then I will be giving away a $20 gift card to Amazon. Also don't forget that I will have all of the links and all of the rules to the giveaway down below. So thank you so much y'all. Have fun hopping through the channels and take care. Thanks for joining us for this 12 days of Christmas. Talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you all so much for joining me for the first day of the 12 days of Christmas. And I have two crafty videos for you right here on the left and right. Don't forget to also hit that bell for future notifications on upcoming hops and events. Thanks so much.